for security reasons. Nnam Kanu may be relocated to Lagos prison for his own safety until the election is over. DSS boss declares. Okay, my people, we greet you all this very evening. This is the Lord TV. This very broadcast um, is just coming in 10 minutes before this very time that we are giving it out to you. Um, according to the content, this is an information that is just um, living as so rock not quite long. Yes, uh, the DSS boss has... Um, done his own findings and also underground um, investigation and he felt that um, for safety for safety and for any unnecessary escalation not to come up that it is better now the can is relocated to um to lagos prison <laughs> uh, to lagos prison and only to return back to abuja after the election these people and their evil plots. Why relocation? What is wrong with uh, DSS office in Abuja, detention center in Abuja? I thought they said that is the best place to get or to keep criminals. <laughs> These people, they should not do anything to Nam the Kano. That is one thing that I'm, I'm just um, trying to say. You see, this is one of the things that they were warning Nigerian government of that it is going to be very, very um, unsecured to keep still keep Namdekanu in DSS detention, yeah, in DSS detention till doing and uh, doing and after the election. You see that now it is now happening everybody is now being afraid the dss boss now himself is now afraid and eh? now planning a relocation what is the probability that even that very place that they want to keep now they can is even safe where is safe okay uh, my people uh, let's check the content and know what the plan is actually all about this is if the news. A new plan has finally erupted on the plot to get Namde Kano relocated to Lagos prison ahead of the election. Information reaching the DSS boss has made him to decide the relocation, saying that it's no longer safe leaving him in DSS custody in Abuja. He said the election will come and go. The IPOP leader Namde Kano will still be in detention. He said that so far the federal government have not decided or concluded on his release. It is advisable that we play safe, get him relocated, and make him to be safe. The IPOP leader will be in our custody and will be in a safe hand. All measures is being put in place to see that is properly secured. Nam the Kano's health condition, though, is still not very okay, but we're doing our best to see that he will be fine. The DSS post has assured the IPOP members, the agitators, to remain calm that the IPOP leader Nam the Kano will be in a safe hand wherever he may be. His location is for his own good, for his safety, and for the good of the peer friends. He won. <laughs> All these promises or whatever. See, left alone me, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with them. I'm not comfortable with them. Because, you see, these people... They know what they are doing. Is it not that Lagos prison that um, they, that they murdered a lot of uh, Nigerians, a lot of prisoners? Huh? Is, it, is that not? These people are just uh, taking decisions 
that suits them alone without carrying out proper investigation. Eh? No wahala. Let them know that it is not only Namdekanu's case has gone beyond national matters. It is now an international matter. And that is what uh, Joe, uh, Joe Biden was trying to say Why trying to call President Mopari to order on the issue of Namdekanu's release. You see that now it's about to happen. My dear people, according to Lucia Gobasenjo, I did laugh. <laughs> see, let's not anything happen to Namdekanu because eyes are already on his case. You understand? Let's hear from you, my people. Let's know what you as well think and what's your own opinion and advice on all that has just been pro procasted. Maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.